Good morning. Do we have smiles on our faces? It's beautiful outside here in Texas. We're going to have a really nice 60 degree day. Uh, got a lot of work to do. I'm going to be on the road. Today, I was thinking, uh, there's an old African proverb, and it goes, it takes a village to raise a child. And as a parent, this is something I think about a lot. Um, there are a lot of stresses that that are involved in being a parent and raise, being a father of uh, two children at that. And I think a lot of people overlook the importance of being a parent and, and what it means. It's not something that you can do by yourself. And that's it's one of the things that really just irks me about when you see and you hear the, the divorce rate in America and you see children being raised by single mothers single fathers you know that's not enough we wonder why we've got these social misbehaviors and and we wonder why we don't have a pride in America the United States of America it's because we don't instill it the way they used to instill it we are losing our country because we are not raising our children correctly and the reason we're not is because of that. Because we're raising children. Mothers are raising children. Fathers are raising children. And it takes a village to raise a child. Get your child out there. Get them around their grandparents. Get them around their aunts and uncles. Get them around your close friends, people you trust. Your next door neighbors. The people across the alley. Wherever it may be. Get your children out there and socialize them. There's a problem in, in, in the education system. I hear a lot of teachers running around uh, squawking about, you know, they don't get paid enough. Well, you know what? You, you signed up for this job, okay? You signed up to be an elementary teacher, middle school teacher, high school teacher because it's a passion. It needs to be a passion if you're going to do it. Everything that we all do, if it's not a passion, then you're not going to do good at it. You're not going to excel at it. And, you know, in regards to elementary, you know, my kids, I've got a fourth grade and a, and a seventh grade, and they, the curriculum is just out of this world, what they try to push through to these kids. And elementary and middle school, is all it is, is it's a social experiment, okay? This is not about academic. This is about preparing you for life. Life is hard. Communicating is hard. Yesterday we talked about communicating uh, skills. Well, guess where you learn it? You learn that in elementary school. You learn that in middle school. You perfect your craft in high school to prepare you for college, to prepare you for life in the real world. And if you're pushing curriculum and, and teachers are not taking the time to have one-on-one -on -one experience with children or have peer group experiences with those children, then if you're failing them socially, then you're failing them all the way around the board. It doesn't matter how smart you are. If you can't communicate with someone, then what's the point? So, think in terms of it takes a village to raise your child. You know, let other people make an impact on your child. Let your child have friends. Let them socialize. It's important. As a parent, your job is a moderator. But be, being a moderator, it's also going to be very important that you understand the difference between how to moderate. What's right? What's wrong? What's indifferent? You've got to be able to uh, figure that out and moderate your child. Stop thinking you have to teach your child everything because you don't. You know, it's like a little baby duck. You know, a little baby duck follows mama around. And, you know, at some point that little baby duck's going to get left behind. Or at some point that little baby duck's going to have to learn how to fly. Or, or mama's going to get attacked by a coyote. And a little baby duck's going to have to make it on its own. Okay? Prepare your little baby ducks for the real world. They've got to be able to make it on their own. And if you coddle them, they are not going to succeed. So, 
think about that. Think about some of the aspects on, you know, are, are, are we, I, you, overbearing on our children? What can we do to better socialize our children and prepare them for the real world? And believe me, th this is a topic that I certainly plan on talking about over and over again. I've got a whole list of things. This weekend, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to put a list together. We're talking politics. We're talking education. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and do a couple videos on, on you know, my, my personal history and my resume and let you know where I speak from, what makes me uh, feel and communicate in the, in the manner that I do. We're going to get to all of that. You just got to keep coming back. Let's, uh, this afternoon, uh, well, I'll tell you, let's go ahead and I've got a busy day. Let me think about what we're going to talk about this afternoon. All you got to do is come back.